Hello friends, Marcy here, and I am feeling much better today, so I'm going to try to talk my way through um, this ink vent day number 18. Um, I may have a, a, an occasional mute if I have a sniffle or a cough, but um, I feel I can do this today, and I'm so happy you're here to join me. Um, I did miss several days uh, sharing detail with you, so at the end of the video, I will recap the days that I actually missed and I'll add um, my chromatography strips to those pages. If you hang out to the end we can do that together. And let me get 18 open. Um, the side is a little more firm because of that edge there. Not as pliable. So okay. This says olive swirl. It does have an olive tint on the label, so I'm anxious to uh, unwrap this plastic and get right back to you. Okay, so olive swirl says it is a chameleon ink. Okay, those are fun. So let me, oh, look at that gorgeous shimmer. Oops, reflection of the light. There we go. I'll let that sit upside down for a bit while I get the page open. All right, we are on day 18. And it was slow moving. Let's get some flotation here. There we go. Now it's now it'll disperse. So Again, before I can pick up my brush, my new routine helps me remember to put the Hobonichi pencil board in there because even though this is a Tamori River paper, it's only 52 GSM and this ink does bleed through, so I have to take precautions. Sorry, I don't know how loud I'm talking. Um, my ears are stuffy and I, I just hear my myself in my head. <laughs> But, oh well, all is better anyway. Mm, I do like this. The only other ink that I have that may be similar to this, um, just looking at the beginning, is the Robert uh, Ulster Muddy Bucket that I have inked in my Pelican um, White Tortoise. And... I like it in there because it really matches the the tortoise shell colors that shine through on the body with the barrel. But with this chameleon, I don't know. I hope my shimmer didn't settle back down. Oh, there it is. May have to do another swatch there. I was talking too long. All right, let's dip the name Olive Swirl. My hands still seem, seem a little shaky as I'm recovering fully from, oh, my days, my days, my days. And this is Chameleon. We're on number 18. This does better with... Um, a nib that actually lays down more ink. So, we need to see some of that uh, shimmer come through. Look, it's already settled again. I'm going to have to do a quick dip to get some of that out on my brush because I want to see that on the paper. And we'll do a chromatography strip. And then at the end of the video, I will. Um, review the ones I missed and add some of the chromatography strips that I completed into my book. So um, we'll wait for this to dry. Be right back. While waiting for this to dry, I'm going to go ahead and add some ink to the chromatography and dip it in water, and we can wait for two things at once. Um, 
great idea. Just a little late. <laughs> All right. One thing I noticed about uh, the shimmer inks, once I lay down the ink on the chromatography strip and dip it in water, after everything um, settle or moves upward on the strip, it always leaves behind, I don't know if we can see this here, the shimmer, let's see, the line of shimmer stays there and all, all the color just moves up. So that's quite pretty and interesting, which will happen here. And I'll be back. Okay, we've um, allowed time for the ink to dry on the page and I just wanna pick it up and let you closely look at the chameleon, the gorgeous shimmer. And it, it does show up in the title too where I was able to get enough ink there, right there on the top of the O, so pretty. Um, glitter, glitter, love it. Um, I did allow this to dry for a few minutes. It's still damp, so I'm not really going to affix it to the page and close the book. I'm gonna let this air dry some more, but just look at the shimmer line on the bottom and then how the bright yellow and green moves up to the bright dark blue at the top. All the properties um, for the recipe of this beautiful ink. So gorgeous. All right, let me go back a little bit and put in the missing chromatography strips that were created while I was ill and it's not feeling it. <laughs> You can see the bright orange properties here, some yellow, and then just on the standard ink, we did get a perimeter line of like a dark brown. I'm trying to catch that in a good light for you. It's not happening. And then serendipity. Oh my goodness, this is an amazing ink. It reminds me of my organic studio um, nitrogen that I have in my Twisby Vac 700. Um, let me show you a little bit from my swatch book, which I'm about to refill that again with that same ink because I'm just enjoying it so much. And again, here's the little shimmer line down there has some yellow green properties uh, before it gets to the dark blue at the top. Not really re any red showing up here on my chromatography strip, but you can sure see it on the ink swatch. If I get it in the right light, there we go. And then 15, oh, pick me up. I sure needed a pick me up this day. Um, I picked up the wrong one. This one was a scent and sheen, and with my condition, I wasn't able to um, experience the scent with you, so I was like, yeah, which one was it? They both look saturated so well, I couldn't tell which one was the front and which one was the back, or I laid the ink down. But this amazing ink reminds me something of um, my win Diamine Winter Spice that was from a previous ink vent. I'm not sure which year because I was able to purchase the full bottle. But the if you look at Pick Me Up where I wrote the title, you can see a um, green. And it went down as brown, but there's a lot of green uh, sheen there in where it collects. Um, I will try, let me try, see if I can smell today on Pick Me Up. See if I can experience what kind of scent this might be. Oh, okay. It. I get a scent of, um, like, uh, pipe tobacco. And I only know that because my husband has some <laughs> pipe tobacco that, um, He's received for Christmas gifts and things like that. So it has a tobacco smell to me. Hmm. I, I wouldn't uh, correlate that with a pick-me-up. 
but oh well all right and last oh there we go um three kings so there's a gray um base at the bottom and as it went up we have peach orange yellow and then gray again at the top with a little bit of green in that chromatography strip so let me lay this down and that's where i left off Pardon me, a cough. I will mute that out. All right. Thank you for joining me, spending your precious moments with me on this Diamine Ink Vent daily discovery journey. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.